Today we're going to be doing a back to school uh, fashion haul. And this is only part one of the haul because we might be getting a couple more things here and there. So the first store we went to was Target. And we only got a few things here. So would you like to show them what you got? Okay, so the first thing I got was socks because I honestly can never find socks. And these are just like, excuse me, the half cut gray socks. I don't know, they're socks. I needed socks. And they're fruit del fruit of the loom. <laughs> um, do you want to show? Okay. The next product, oh yeah, the, those were $8 if you care. Um, the next thing I got was this Morona and medium, I don't know, you don't care about the size. Uh, <laughs> just this little, like, coverall thing, and it was $8.59. Okay, so, first thing I'm going to show you is the purse I got from Target. It was, like, $25.00. What kind of skin is this again? Ostrich. It's ostrich skin, but it's, it's fake. fake. It's false. It's fur. It's not real. But... <laughs> yeah. And then we got... Well, then I got this knit kind of tank with a zebra on. Um, if you don't mind me. Like, it's a high-low hemline, too. And it was like twelve dollars, thirteen dollars, and I think this is from the children's section. It wasn't the children's section; it was the junior section. It's in the junior section, which is teens, which is teens, guys. Okay, that's everything we got from <laughs> Target. Okay, so next we went to Winners, and you can go first. Okay, so first of all, I got this white tank top with um, a floral British flag sign on it. It's pretty long. I think it covers your bum. They can't see all of that. It covers your bum. Oh, uh, who's it by? It's by, I don't even know how to say it. Box. Um, Box. Box. Pop. Op. I don't know. This. I don't know. And then next I got this black tank top with a sun and a moon on it. I think this is originally from Brandy Melville, but, yeah. I got that. Okay. It was, uh, and both of those shirts were $12, if you care. Um, so at Winners, I got this shirt from Double Zero. I don't know, I guess it's a brand. And it's just this really pretty baggy, um, has like the longer armpits, and it says some people are just misunderstood. I really like it. I think it looks very, like, pretty with another item I got. Uh, and then I got this really cute vest. It's, like, denim. Like, it's actual denim. Uh, that was... I don't know how much that was. I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, this was $16.99, and it was originally $82. And that's why I honestly love winners, because you can get so many good prices. And I'm going to see that one day, okay? Okay, whatevs. Uh, and by the way, uh, the next store we went to was a garage and dynamite outlet, which is basically the two mixed together. And this was in the Dixie Outlet Mall, if you wanted to know, the one in Toronto or Mississauga. Or whatever. Uh, and it was really cool because they, it was like a real outlet and they had like really cheap stuff. Like uh, they had the broken or like... Um, almost perfect. The almost it? perfect section, which basically means there was some... Uh, Button. imperfections or buttons broken off lots of buttons broken off um there was like but like the sizes there weren't the best because they were either way too small like double zero or like extra extra large and it was really hard to find like a perfect medium size yeah so the first item I got was a garage top and it's this neon hot pink color um, peplum top it was, I don't know how much originally it was, but it was $5 when I got to it. And the next top I got is this vintage lace kind of denim top that's not really denim. Um, this one is a dynamite top. Um, I think this one was like $10 maybe. I don't know, something like that. That one was 17 I think. 
Um, and then this next top is a little more pricey for an outlet, and it's also from Dynamite, and it was $18. It's just this floral, um, see-through kind of top. It's a high-low, too, so... Can I just... Just let me scratch my face. <laughs> I scratched my badge. I'm so sorry. Okay. So the last item I got from Garage and Dynamite is this Dynamite top. Um, it's just a gray t-shirt with roses all over it. It's really light and really good for lazy days. And this one was um, probably, again, like $10, something $5. really cheap. No, it was like 8 8 I think. It's cheap. Okay, so at Dynamite and um, Garage, I got this really pretty lacy top from Garage. Um... This, I believe, yeah, this was $10. I just want to show them the lace, sorry. And it's really pretty because it has, like, this mesh material, and it's actually, like, two layers, and you're going to have to wear, like, an undershirt or something unless you feel comfortable showing off your your Bosoms. <laughs> Um, The next thing I got was this just uh, plain tank top. With stars. With stars, yeah, obviously it has stars. <laughs> Um, and this was originally twelve ninety, but I got it for eight dollars. No, actually, I think it was even cheaper than that, and it was like five five dollars because it was on a sale, another sale rack. Yeah. Um, the next thing I got was from Garage as well. I don't know. I just got many Garage things, and this was fifteen dollars, and it's the um, stretch. One stretch. One stretch, uh, jagging type materials. And it's just this, like, really pretty, like, mahogany, maroon. Mahogany, I don't think it's mahogany. Maroony, red. Purple color. Uh, purpley red. I forget the color of this. But it's pretty. Like, beige that's all or something. Know. Yeah, that's all you need to know. And then I got this shirt to go with it. And I, honestly, I'm in love with this shirt. And, yeah, so it's it's kind of sheer, so you're going to need to wear, like, a black undershirt with it. But, honestly, I love this shirt. Sorry. I love this shirt so much. It's just so purry and perfect. How much was it? And this was originally, like, the uh, sticker price was $19.90, and I got it for $12. And they also had different colors in this. But, yeah, they didn't have a very wide size selection in that either. I could have took a size up. So that's all the stuff we got from Garage and Dynamite Outlet. So the last store we went to was Urban Planet and at Urban Planet. What did you get, Crystal? Okay, I'll start then. <laughs> um, the first thing I got was this giraffe sweater. And if you follow me on Keek, which you should all be doing, it's Crystal's Jungle. She's in the majority of my Keeks. It has ears. I've been wearing this sweater so like nonstop the past like six days. And it has this little cute face. This is a giraffe, and that's my favorite animal. And this was $20. The next thing I got was jogging pants, because I just really wanted a pair of jogging pants for back to school. Because honestly, I always wear her jogging pants, and she gets very annoyed. Uh, these were $12.50 yeah. or something. Uh, and they're just like these really pretty, well, not pretty, but like plain jogging pants. But you roll down this part... And BAM! There's a little uh, England flag or like UK flag, whatever. For a pocket. Pockets. You don't know what you put in there, but it's pockets. Uh, the next thing I got was this sweater. And this was $20. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I really like it because if you look at it, it has like these little gold shimmers in the panda. And, yeah, I just thought it was very cute and soft. The next thing I got was jeans. And, honestly, these jeans look so good on. This might be a little cocky, but I think my butt looks great in them. Uh, they're just the Miami... Fit. The Miami Super Stretch High Rise Jeggings. They also have low rise, but I'm not really allowed to wear low rise jeans because you don't want to show off your cooch. Uh, yeah. These were twenty dollars, which is good if you care. Um, at Urban Planet, I honestly feel like I always have to buy uh, tank tops because they're always so cheap. They're always like six or five dollars, 
And some people pay $12 for these at, like, Gosh. Forever 21 Garage. Like, I just don't think you should ever play, like, really expensive prices for these. And I got this really pretty leopard print one. And then I just got a plain black one, and these were $5 each. So, what I got at Urban Planet was also some jogging pants. Mine are a little more detailed, but still gray. Um, mine were also $12, but it has New York all on one leg, and then a little New York bum cheek. No, it's in New York for the other side of the leg. And that was $12, which I already said. $12.50. So I also got the exact same jeans, Miami, but just, I think, a different size. Um, but, again, $20. Really nice. High-rise um, jeans. Cheap. Cheeky. So the next thing I got was a sweater, and it was $20. And instead of a panda, I got a swan. And it's not sparkly, but it's furry and really nice and it'll be good for when it gets a little colder outside. You're like, look! It's shaking! Look! <laughs> <laughs> it's flying! Okay, so next I got this sheer um, blouse. Chiffon. And the pocket is fake leather. Same with the collar. It's not just black. Even so I think it might actually um, rip. Just by the feel of it, it kind of feels like it's getting weak, and I haven't even worn this once. Well, how are you going to rip it on your neck, as long as you don't play with it? It might just get so worn So, it's high-low at the bottom, and this shirt was, like, $8. Um, so, this next shirt also has some leather in it, but it's this. I don't know how to explain it, but right here is leather got some studs on the pocket. The pockets are leather as well. This one was like $17. It was a little more expensive just for an outlet. And you're allowed to wear this at school. So yeah. Are you? It doesn't have sleeves. Yeah, but if you put, like, it doesn't matter. I won't care. Okay, so that's everything we got in this haul. Okay, so we just wanted to make a little disclaimer that we aren't bragging in any way, shape, or form, but if you feel that way, we are really sorry, and we would like you to all tell us how we can seem unbreakified. Because <laughs> um, it's not one of my morals to be bragging and like. We're just showing you all the great deals you can yeah. get at the Dixie Outlet Mall. Uh, Check we are that really out. grateful to get all of these items from our parents for back to school shopping, and we have a quite large family. Like, and my parents have to buy like back to school stuff for every one of them. Um, and normally we don't get this many clothes or whatever, but we were um, we're extremely grateful. We normally get like two outfits, yeah, one like two pants, two shirt. Yeah, because like we have tons of clothes, but we recently just got rid of a bunch of clothes and gave it to the um, Goodwill store by our house. Not really by our house, but anyways. So we just wanted to thank you all for watching, and please subscribe, like, and comment for video requests because we're running out of ideas. But we will be doing a back to school supply haul soon yeah. and maybe a first day school vlog with not like at school but when we come home telling you how it went and stuff. You want to tell them what grade you're going into? I'm going to grade 11. I'm going to go, I'm not going, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm in grade 8 now. Um, and just to like, just like, just to let you know, if you think it's weird that we hang out, we're sisters, okay? Now piss off. Just kidding. We don't look like you. sisters, do we? I think we look alike. Like, Grandma said we looked alike lately. <laughs> Bye. So, the last store we went to was Urban Planet. And in Urban Planet, you got... All throughout the video. Jeez, I've been, like, restraining myself not to slap you. Don't do it anymore. We need one of those. We should get one of those choppy things. We should just get the the, the chip bag things, or just get scissors. Okay. Snip. So the next. Oh, sorry. I'm getting. Baggy guys. <laughs> Do you want that so, to make the bloopers? Our grandparents will see this. You gave them our YouTube. No, but they know we have one. Like okay. they're not gonna hide it because okay. then that's how you. So. 
Let's just stop it yeah. and like. 